Hi everybody. Okay, so I got an amazing thing for you guys today. Happy Mother's Day to all you mamas. Okay, I'm a mama too. So for Mother's Day, I am doing London cakes. Now, here is how I got London cakes. Number one, in prison they called me London Bridges because I always fell down. I was pretty high on heroin. It's more like a wobble. I like wobbled a lot, like, you know what I mean? And not necessarily falling, but definitely couldn't talk or speak or enunciate. Even though I thought I was, I definitely could not. So they called me London Bridges, okay? And so I would make these things called London Cakes. And they're kind of like macaroons, like the little cake. They're super cute and amazing to make for Mother's Day. So I'm gonna make sure I get these videos together because they have to sit overnight and everything. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I get these videos together so you guys can do this on Mother's Day with your kids. It's really cool. Okay, so first of all, um, in prison, um, we, you know, didn't have no, like, you know, pretty plates to set stuff on or anything like that. So what we did was we used a box. I'm going to use a ramen noodle box. <laughs> and we would take paper, regular paper, construction paper, whatever you can find. And dang it, my cat, my velvet, of course, velvet's sitting here. Okay, so we take the paper, tape it to the box. No, just kidding. Just kidding. That was not right. Let's go like this. Let's tape this part first. Hold on. There we go. Ha! Perfect. Yes, and you see the little ears of my baby. Okay, so gotta make sure the box, because what would you do? You wanna help tape? You wanna help tape, honey? Yes, I know. You're going to tape it. And what we're making this look like is like, so it's pretty. You know what I mean? Because you want, if you're serving, you know, for a bunch of people, I would make London cakes for like Christmas parties, birthday parties, stuff like that. So I'd always have to, you know, come with a dish that was like at least pretty, you know? And this is so much fun on the stove. It's like all wobbling and weaving. Okay. And my little cat is fascinated with tape. She loves tape, obviously. My little velveteer. Right, velvet. Yes, she just loves tape. You want some tape to play with? Is that what you want? Okay. Now, the other thing that we did, okay, so we have this white thing. It looks plain, right? Horrible. See, sometimes you can get construction paper, you know, if we get from the teachers, but usually we don't get construction paper. So, one second, I gotta run. Get my markers, sorry. Gotta step over the cat while I'm getting markers. Okay, so I have, well, I don't have markers. What do I got? What do I got going on? I got highlighters, yay, okay. So I'm gonna make just like little swirls, like this to make my own construction paper, okay? I'm gonna add some color to it, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Maybe it's Mother's Day. And let's add another little yellow. Yellow's great. Let's make it pop. One more yellow here. Voila! Right? Right? Not bad, right? Okay. So then once you, once you got your little box, or just go in the cupboard and get a serving dish. Either way, but I'm showing you the prison way, okay? Once you, okay, hold on, I gotta go grab the saran wrap and stuff. Um, so, yeah, once you, like, I'm so organized, right? <laughs> so once you have that on there, right? You don't want to put anything on just regular paper because that's just wrong. So you take it and kind of just, there we go. Saran wrap, wrap works great too. So you have it nicely, you know, sealed. Okay, so we're just gonna put that away right now. We're also gonna put these away. I don't need pencils. Well, I'm 
Oh my goodness. I'm such a hot mess sometimes. Okay. Tape and pencil. We don't need that. We'll start over here. Okay. We don't need this anymore right now. Okay, great. Okay, so let me wash my hands real quick while I start this. And what we're going to do, I'm so glad I found the pause button because this is going to be like a really, really, um, it's going to take some time. <laughs> so, first thing you need is the duplex cookies, okay? You can get it. There's like super cheap. Uh, get the duplex cookies because what you're going to do is you're going to take the cream filling out of them and separate them, okay? So, that's the first, very first thing that we do. So, take the duplex cookies. I'm going to use the big bowl. And what I'm going to do is um, when you separate the duplex cookies, what I want you to do is you need two bowls, okay? Because we're going to make two different types of frosting, okay? So this is kind of like different than the, you know, like the uh, the prison um, prison cake or whatever, or the cheesecake. So with this, we're going to use two different types of frosting. So what I want you to do to separate them is you take the cookie, break it apart very gently, Take them in uh, both hands. And I'm right-handed. It looks like I'm left-handed on the thing. I'm right-handed. Um, and so I'm going to scrape some in here, scrape some in there, right, like that. And then put the cookies in the other bowl. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally take them apart, scrape the white out, and put them in the bowl. And you do this through the whole entire package. And it all depends on how many you want to make. Like if you're going to a Mother's Day party, um, you know, this you know, Sunday, um, I suggest that, you know, you make a lot for everybody if you're doing something like that. Or if you just want to make them for your kids, you can use one package. Um, the most I ever made in prison was 350 of these. Yeah, it was for a Christmas party. It was for the whole entire unit. Yeah. Um, needless to say, I was up all night. I had frosting everywhere. No, just so you know, moms, this is the messiest thing that you guys are going to be doing because... The creamer that works as frosting is like taffy, just so you know. It gets everywhere Beca because it's like you're going to mix and then you got to like put them on the little, you know, cookie parts and it's very messy. Just see, I mean, I'm going to get pretty messy. It's a, it's a mess. This is a messy, this is a messy one. Just so you know, so if you want to do it with the kids, just make sure you know, you know, clean up a lot. Um, So again, it's saying like, so just take the, separate them. And you're also going to use the inside of these cookies for your creamer, your, your base. So I'm just going to do this a couple more times. And then I'm going to pause it because I learned that new function, which is amazing. Yeah, I didn't know that function before. I didn't know we could pause the video. I mean, how cool is that? Like, you can pause videos now. It's just simply amazing. Okay, and you just separate the cookies. So I'm going to pause you guys and I'll be back in two seconds. Um, I'm going to finish these up real quick. So I am back. Um, if any of these cookies chip or anything, you need like a whole cookie. Like you need the cookie like this. Well, separated, of course. But yeah, so if any of them chip, just eat them. That's what you're supposed to do with them. Or let the kids eat them, you know. Because you need the whole cookie to make these. So... At the last one here. Okay. Now, the next step that we're gonna do, and if my camera is off, Velvet, yeah, yeah. Velvet decided to play with the camera while it was on pause. So, yes, yeah, so, okay, so anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I got two bowls, okay? One has a little white stuff in it, the cream filling. So I'm gonna do it like half and half because you want to get a little of each. So I got half and half each bowl. So these are going to be my creamer bowls. So now, what the thing about these is, is that first of all, you can use one of those um, zoom things, what are they called? Mixers? Mixers. You can use a mixer, right? But I'm just going to use a fork, you know, prison style, whatever. You know, I haven't got a mixer yet. And Kool-Aids for color. Okay, so I got the pink lemonade cherry, grape, orange, and lemon. Okay, so I think for on color, since it's Mother's Day, we're gonna use purple, definitely purple. 
and purple and red or purple and pink purple and pink right purple and pink we might have to use a little red to get it more pinker so we'll see so of course i don't have what did you break oh my goodness did you guys hear that like i know she broke something she or she threw something on the floor she always does that um i need a cup with water so you can either use water you can use water or uh, Sierra Mist to like, you make it fluffy for the creamer. I forgot to get Sierra Mist, so I'll just use water. And then, so I got a bunch of creamers here. So the first one, I'm just gonna open this up because I'm gonna, yeah, we'll use all this. So, I mean, it depends on, you need a lot of, uh, a lot of frosting for these because what you're gonna do, I mean, I'm telling you, these are the coolest things ever. So let's go with the, <laughs> the pink lemonade one. Put that in there. And take a fork. I oh, already got a fork in there. Look at that. So I'm going to mix. Maybe I put too much water in there. Okay, so here's the thing that you don't want to do when making this frosting. Since it's creamer, you don't want it runny on these. Because you want it thick so you can form it on the cookie. That's, that's the very important part of making these. Because what's gonna happen is, this stuff is gonna get like super, okay. So, let me just do this. Much easier, right? So you can see, you get the hair out of the way. This, that's healthy, right? I mean, or, yeah, cooking with Liz! Watch out what you eat, man, I'm be hearing it. Just kidding. Um. So, what I'm gonna do, is you want all the lumps out of it. And this is still so lumpy. And it's like really like, I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm going to, that's where those, uh, you know, um, zoos come in, right? The mixers, right? Why can't I think of that name? Hmm. So we're gonna use a lot more creamer in this. You got like a lot of creamers. There we go. Again. So that gets like all clumpy like, like that. It's not cool. Um, so what you want to do is when you're mixing this, the substance needs to be like... Oh, these are... This is like fluffy. I don't know what's going on with that. And the more you mix it, like this is, okay, so in prison, like we didn't have these, these would be a weapon. So we use like plastic forks. So, right. Imagine using like, a, it's a thicker plastic, not the little, you know, white ones, but they're like yellow ones. They're like a spork because you can never get forks. Forks were like illegal, <laughs> but you can get a spork. <laughs> and I mean, just imagine like, having to mix this i mean it's already hard enough me mixing it with a regular fork but imagine like what i had to go through like mixing it i'm probably gonna get frosting on my boobs but anyways imagine what i had to go through like mixing it on our, like you know on a match like you know what i mean okay so this this right here is actually pretty good like it doesn't run you see that it doesn't move really because we're using it to form it on the cookies so like the messiest part ever because you're using your hands and everything. I should put my hair in a ponytail for this. I really should. So, yeah, this is actually really good. And it's pretty pink, right? See? Uh, okay. Next one. So that's one frosting, right? Let me wash my hands. This is like a really messy thing. Okay, so the next one. What did I say? Grape, right? Grape, okay. Glad somebody's paying attention, right? Because sure I wasn't. Okay. So we're gonna add the creamer. We got creamer from ages ago. Man. So add the grape. And add the water. Now, on adding water to the creamer, you guys really want it to be like, I mean, kind of use your judgment. 
I don't use measuring, obviously. I mean, you just pour it in and that's what you get, you know? But you'll be able to tell once you start mixing if you need more creamer. In prison, I used um, two, like two creamers for each, uh, for each frosting. That's what I did, so. And they're the same creamers. Like, look how pretty purple it is, purple. And they're the same creamers I have right now, pretty much. So that much hasn't changed. You know, like obviously I put too much water in this because you gotta be careful with the water. So I think you should go slow on the water. I'm gonna add more creamer, obviously. There we go. Okay. Hopefully this will work out just like this. I know the weirdest thing is, okay. So like the like the pink lemonade, it uh when it mixed, it mixed very smoothly. I don't think the grape will probably mix very smoothly. Sometimes the different type of textures of Kool-Aid you put in it makes the mix weirder. It's weird. Whoops, that it's on the floor. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, see like this? This isn't mixing like smoothly, it's mixing like clumpy. So Obviously, I have practice at this. <laughs> See, it's a different texture, too. Oh, see how runny that is? That's not what you want at all. Okay, so that's like super duper runny. Like, you would have a complete mess on your hands with this. This is like not cool at all. So I'm gonna add more creamer. Because you don't, trust me when I say you do not want the frosting running. Mm -mm. You'll be like, so like I said, this has to sit overnight. Your cookies will be like all over the place. And then in the morning you got to use water to form them. I had to do that once because I like made the frosting way too runny. It was horrible. Eh, more stuff on the floor. Okay. It's all right. Maybe you should do this over the stove so we stop putting stuff on the floor. Oh, this might work. Okay, so as you can see, better, much better. Like I can use it because other stuff, man, wait until you see what happens. So, okay, so now, okay, the fun part. This is the fun part your kids will love. I'm gonna put everything away. I should have a bigger table. Hold on. Just throw everything there. Okay. So I got the cookies. Got all the cookies. I got the purple frosting and I got the pink frosting. Okay. Move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. I put everything over here. And now I got the, where we're setting them on. Maybe I should put this in the middle. I'm going to put this in the middle. There. Perfect. Right? You guys can see that. Okay, so let me put this, let me, let me just fix this right here. Okay, put this back. Maybe I should get a hair tie. One second, I'm gonna get a hair clip because I don't want my hair everywhere. All right, so got a hair clip real quick, okay. Perfect, right? It looks cute still, okay. Yeah. Washing my hands again. Okay. Are we ready for the fun part? Okay, so we're gonna do white, black, white, or black, white, black. Okay? So you take a black cookie and you can alternate everything. So you take the pink frosting, put it on it. Okay. Take the white bottom, make sure see the this way, this is the, so it'd be the white, sorry, top. The top, you put it there, so this is a flat on top, like that. Then you're gonna take the purple. Again, the purple's a little runny, oh my goodness. Okay, it's like you're making ice cream cones, okay? So you're gonna take the black again, and remember, put the little design side on the bottom, and put pink on top.
Mm -hmm. Now, just so you know, these are very messy, as you can see. Like, these are like super messy. You want to get it all covered in. Now, what we're going to do is kind of smooth it over and hit. There we go. Stupid thing. Okay. Super messy. Hold on. Just wash my hands. Okay. It's like super messy. Try and fix this. Okay, that's one. Okay, let me try it. Okay. So now we can take white, because I started with the black before. We can do white. I think I really need to put more in the x-ray. Black. Yeah. I know they don't look pretty right now, but they will be pretty, trust and believe. So, and we can also start with the purple too. You can mix it, like, you know, the purple. always alternate them so you know when they come out they're like pretty amazing <laughs> the purple is very runny just so you guys know that's what's making it like fluffy and sloppy is that right though <laughs> do you guys see them <laughs> like so cute they're gonna be cute trust and believe they're like so either way, you can, you know, like I said, it's so weird because like the pink frost and the pink lemonade, it fluffed. That's what, I don't know what's in the pink lemonade, but it fluffed. The purple was like totally like, like, you know what I mean? Like this isn't going nowhere. Like I can tip upside down, no, going up purple. No, it's, it's going to go somewhere. It's like, so I think I'm going to keep the purple in the middle maybe mostly because it's like, I have to swirl it and do this. I mean, I've done this for years. But like I said, you get messy. You get, like, super messy, you know? And, um... So, the cool thing about these is, is that, um... After so long of sitting here, because I gotta sit overnight, they harden. And so, not, like, harden, harden, but, like, kind of mold into these little cookies. And they're just, like, so amazing. So, I'm gonna do purple on them. I'm gonna fill up the tray with these. So you guys can get the idea. great fun for Mother's Day. I'm going to make sure the video is out by um, today is Friday. It's Friday night right now, you guys. This is my Friday night, but I'm doing Friday night. It's trying to stay healthy, not give in to temptation. It's hard, you know. Like, I still struggle with my addiction of alcohol. You know, the drug part, that's out, you know what I mean? But the alcohol, yeah, I still struggle with that every day. I just don't understand why, you know, like, that can't just be gone, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh why? Why not? Like, poof let it go you know what I, you know what I mean but I think God wants me to work on it you know what I'm saying like it's got to be something I gotta want you know and still struggle every day every day I am not perfect by any means at all you know it's, it's a struggle that I have to deal with every day you know that I'm an alcoholic alcoholic and drug addict you know but guess what I'm finding more important things to do, like making these London cakes, okay, on a Friday night. 
So that way there I don't end up going into the bar. Right? Right? Isn't that awesome? That's so awesome. Like I said, look how messy. Like, I'm so messy. It's messy. <laughs> okay, we only got a couple more here. Put this on there. Like I said, this pink frosting. I wonder what they put in that to make it like, you know. And remember, always the bottom of it goes on top. The the writing part goes on the bottom. It's easier, it's easier to uh, put the frosting on the cookie then. That's why. Put the pink. And I always like, you know, go from one color to the other. Like, there we go. Phew, yeah, yeah. These things are beautiful. They, oh my goodness, this one's tilting. Oh, okay. I'm gonna show you a trick here in a minute after I get these all done right here. Okay. Um, show you a trick that works really well and I got some kids in the neighborhood so tomorrow I'm gonna bring them to them I'm gonna give them to the kids these I'm mean, of course I'm gonna try one myself but I love sharing my stuff with the neighbors like they love it they, they all love it okay and one more we'll do a purple one not that one Okay, so sometimes, okay, just so you know, sometimes these little guys like to fall sideways on the little uh, palette. I'm going to show you real quick. It's because, like, this right here is really runny still. I should have maybe put some more creamer in it. Okay. This one's sloppy. Sloppy, slop, sloppy Joe. Okay. I like Adam Sandler movies. Okay, now this one should not be. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're just going to set that down right there. Okay, let me uh, clean my fingers. I just clean. Hold on. I don't clean my fingers. Now, the cool thing your kids will love is that. They can lick their fingers. How awesome is that, right? I'm gonna show you a cool trick, right? Okay, so let's get all this stuff out of the way. And um, let me get another uh, bowl real quick. So this is the cool thing you can do. I'm gonna show you these up close and personal. So these are the London cakes. As you see, some of them are like tilting and everything. What you do is you take a little water on your hands, you kind of smooth them and mold them. Because they're sticky, so you need water. Okay. Some of them are like really like. Now the reason these have to sit overnight is because um you want them to like the cookie to get soft. And what happens is the cookie gets soft. This one's fine, kind of. Okay. No, this one. <laughs> it's like everywhere. It's everywhere. My goodness. Oh gosh. Come on. Let's go right there. There we go. Okay. You might not need to do the water. I mean, it just helps. It helps it to make it look pretty. Okay. Does I get creamer everywhere? Okay. So now, these ones look a little bit better, right? Right? The little London cakes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover them with the press and seal. Now, here's the thing about covering these. You want to make like a dome. I don't know how I'm going to do this with the press and seal. Um, we'll see though. Let me see if I can make a dome or whatever. Um, you don't want it to be stuck on it. Like, kind of like, or maybe, I mean, 
because what happens is is that the cream will harden a little bit and it'll get stuck on it. So maybe I should put um something, something. I don't know. You guys at home can think of this. What should I put there to make it like? Oh, like a little um hmm, right in the middle, like something like that. What could I put? Like a like a pepper shaker in the middle. That doesn't fit. Okay. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So put that in the middle of this right here. And so that these don't stick. I'm going to find something. I will. I promise. Okay. And then you let them sit overnight. Okay. So that's what you do. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the final reveal. Okay. Hey everybody. I am back. It is the next day. So I'm going to uncover these and throw that away. And this is the finished product, okay, London Cakes. Now the coolest thing about this is if you want to make it a little more fancier, you can take a Hershey's bar and drizzle chocolate over them, or you can just keep them like this. So now the coolest thing about this is, yeah, huh? and they're so soft. Very good so. Mmm. Mmm. I'm hard for my pop. Mmm. Yeah. These are really good. So happy Mother's Day. You guys. Have a wonderful Mother's Day. Hopefully hopefully you can make London cakes during Mother's Day. Bye guys.